Let's talk about the weather. First, taking a live look out over Bellingham. A few sun breaks out there. Uh, dipping into some pretty, pretty chilly temperatures, though, across Washington over the weekend. Let's get to Christopher Nunley with more on the forecast. Christopher. Joyce, big temperature change is coming over the next 12 hours or so. So if you need to go to the grocery store, or maybe you want to take that dog on a long walk and you don't want to battle with those cold temperatures, do it this evening before those temperatures really start to drop throughout the day tomorrow. So big cold front on the way that significantly drops those temperatures. We're also going to see a pretty big uptick in those winds throughout the day tomorrow into our Sunday morning, and we're going to see those high temperatures temperatures in the 30s Sunday and Monday. Our average low is going to be where our high temperatures are Sunday and Monday and then a hard freeze Sunday morning, uh, Monday morning and Tuesday morning with those lows in the teens and 20s. There is a small chance for some lowland snow Saturday and then again on Tuesday. You don't get your hopes up. Most areas don't see of that any of that wintry precipitation. So the big area of high pressure that had been overhead, it's already working its way off toward the west and this is opening the door for that cold front to work in. We see a trough dig into the area tomorrow into Sunday. That allows that cold air that's been really bottled up to our north to move into the area, and that's going to be driven by those strong northerly winds, which is going to make those wind chill temperatures out there tomorrow evening feel pretty cold. This is what it's going to feel like tomorrow at 11 p.m. So if you have any late evening plans, maybe a night out on the town, you want to bundle up. It's going to feel like 28 in Seattle teens in western parts of Whatcom and Skagit counties. You can see by Sunday morning you're getting ready to grab the cup of coffee, go to the morning service. It's going to feel really cold across the area. Lower 20s in Seattle teens for western Whatcom and western Skagit counties. And because of the strong winds, there is a wind advisory. This is that brown shaded area for western parts of Skagit Whatcom County. Some of the island communities for the second half of tomorrow into Sunday morning where those winds could actually gust upwards of 50 miles per hour from the north northeast beginning late tomorrow morning. This is 10 a.m. And folks, that's really going to stick around throughout the afternoon into the evening hours as well. And we're going to see our winds in Everett and Seattle also gust upwards of 20 to say 30 miles per hour tomorrow evening, making it feel pretty chilly out there. Now, with those strong northerly winds, that is typically a drying wind for the area, and that's what we're going to expect. However, there's a very small chance that we could kind of squeeze out whatever moisture remains in the form of some light sprinkles, a couple snowflakes mixing in for parts of Snohomish, as well as King and Pierce counties. Again, most areas miss out on that activity. Dry tonight, temperatures seasonally cool 20s and 30s. Make sure you bundle up. It gets really cold though Sunday and Monday. So our average high is 49. The highs are actually going to be in the upper 30s and the overnight lows. This is the big issue. You want to make sure you check on your neighbors, bring the pets inside, protect the pipes. 29 Sunday, 24 in Seattle Monday. Again, some of the outlying areas actually fall into the teens Monday morning. Luckily, it's going to be short lived. We are back into the mid 40s by Wednesday, but there's a very small chance for some additional lowland snow on Tuesday.